everyone. My name's Heidi Postel. Welcome back to A Plus Maths. Moving straight along from the different types of traveling, we know that we have a walk, a path, a circuit, a trail, and a cycle. And I organized them for you into, well, pairs really, where the path and the cycle were together, the trail and the circuit were together, and the walk is on its own. There are special types of trails and circuits and we're going to study one called the Eulerian Trail and Eulerian Circuit. It is pronounced Eulerian, not Eulerian, because the man who it's named after was Leonard Euler. And so we say Eulerian Trail and Eulerian Circuits. If we remember what a trail and a circuit is, it makes it easy to remember what an Eulerian trail and circuit is. So let's just recap. A trail connects the start and the finish. You can use the same vertice twice, but you can only use the edges once. The circuit is exactly the same as a trail, except it starts and finishes at the same point. Now what makes the Eulerian trails and circuits different or interesting to study are that an Eulerian trail has to have two odd degree vertices. Exactly two. So if it has two odd vertices and the rest are even, then we would call it, call it an Eulerian trail and we know it has to start and finish at the two odd vertices. That's what makes it special. If we have an Eulerian circuit, then it has to have only even degree vertices. It can't have any odd vertices. Let's do an example because I always find it's easier to know what's going on when you can actually visualize it. So I have the same network drawn twice behind me and what I'd like to do is I'd like to draw two different Eulerian trails. Remember an Eulerian trail can only be drawn if I have exactly two odd vertices. So the first thing that I need to do is to write down how many degrees each vertex has. Let's start by doing that. And I'm going to do the vertices in orange. I'm not going to write down every single degree on the side. Remember, it's how many lines coming out of it. And a loop counts as two degrees. So this one has one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I might just do it in the middle because I have a little circle. This one has three. This has one, two, three, four. This one has two and this one has two. Now remember, an Eulerian trail can only have exactly two odd vertices. So I have two, two, four, all even, three and five. Great. Now that, those two vertices must be my start and my finish. That's what we know. So you have to do this first. First label the degrees, count that there are two of them. Then label each of those as your start and finish. Doesn't matter which one's which, just label them as your start and finish. Now I have to get through Euler every edge. I need to get through every edge of my network. I can go through the vertices more than once, but I have to get through every edge to get from the start to the finish. And this can be a little bit hard to think about on your own. So let's think about how we can do that. I might use a different color. And go down here, then down there, then across there. I can go all the way up to there. I can go around my loop, come back down to here, go around to there, and back to my finishing point and I'll just color that one in that's my last one and that would be my Eulerian trail 
and we need to write down what the Eulerian Trail is. And we do that by writing the letters that we went to in the order that we passed through them. Now that I already have it, let's see if I can remember what I actually did. I started at B. Remember that B had to be one of my vertices that had an odd degree. Yes, five. I started at B, I then went to A, then D, then E, I went back up to B, I went round to B, down to C, then to D, and back to C. And I finished and started at my two odd vertices. If you were going a little bit ahead of me and you chose a different route or path to get from your start to your finish, so your trial, your trail looks different to mine, that's fine. There are other options. So you and your friend sitting next to you might actually get different answers, but you would both be correct. If I come over here onto the other side, I'm going to do a different option. So let's take a different route. I know that this has one, two, three, four, five. This has three, degree three, one, two, three, four degrees, two degrees, two degrees. Of course, I need to start and finish at my two odd vertices, two odd degree vertices. I'm going to start at B. Of course, you could start at C, down to A, down to D. This time, I'm going to go up first, come back down, then go across, go round and finish over there. I have gone through every edge like Euler tells me to, Euler every edge, and I started at one of the odd vertices and finished at one of the odd vertices. So my Eulerian trail in this particular case would be what? I started at B, I went to A, and then D, and then C, and then I came back to D, over to E, up to B, I then went round B, I went round B, and then came back to C. And I finished at my odd and even vertices, as I should have. Now let's do an example of the circuit. Remembering that to do an Eulerian circuit, we need to have all even degree vertices. So the first thing I need to do is to check the degrees of each vertex. I'll do that in blue. I have two here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So they're all even. So I already know that if I want to make an Eulerian circuit, I can because all of my vertices have an even degree. I also know that I have to start and finish at the same point because it is a circuit and that's what makes a circuit different to a trail. That I have to start and finish at the same point. And I can pick whichever point I'd like. I like to start at this point because there's more things going in and out of it. Start and finish. And I just have to pick a route now that goes through every edge once. Euler every edge. So I'll start by going along there and then along there, up there, might come back down, around here, up there, up there, and back to C. So there we go, I figured out a route that works and now of course I have to write it down before I forget what I did. I started at C, I went to D, then I went to E, then I went up to B, came back down to C, went to D again, all along different edges, up to A, along to B, and back down to C. Remembering that I have to start and finish at the same vertex because it's a circuit. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe below. See you next time.